then I go back and I, and I look for something else and I find a rock. And so I pick up the rock and I wander back to the edge of the dock and, and, and I drop it in and it disappears. And, and it goes beneath the surface. And, and so I take another couple of steps to see if I can see it and it's going deeper and I lean in and before you know it, I'm in the lake as well. And, and I'm sinking like a stone and my little arms are flailing around and my, key, uh, my feet are kicking and, and nobody notices. The, the party on the dock just keeps going and I'm in real trouble and, and I start slipping beneath the surface. It's a terrible feeling if you've ever had that underwater. And I start sinking deeper and deeper and then I panic and, and the panic starts rising. I'm just a little guy, but I so remember this going deeper into the dark lake and then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, I could feel this strong arm around me. And, and it was the strong arm of, of one who loved me. One, one who loved me so much pulled me from death to life out of the lake. And it was my Uncle Jack. Okay, Rick, you want to take it around? Okay, Rick's on the keys. And let's be honest, let's be honest, religion has a bad name these days. People look at all the wars currently happening in the Middle East, they look at Christians who spread hatred against our queer brothers and sisters and friends and allies, they look at the caste system and forced marriage in India and all these things and they say, that's what religion is. Well, they're wrong, kind of. I'd say this instead, all religions in all faith traditions, there's a dividing line. On one side are fundamentalists who say, we know the truth and everyone else is going to hell or going somewhere bad. So get with us or you're damned for eternity. And then there are those who are open, who realize scripture must be put into context, who use religion to bring people together and to heal. You know, there are those who will use religion throughout history to support oppression and those who use religion to tear it down. And this struggle between fundamentalists and those who are open has been going on for all of history and may never end. But we have to choose. What kind of Christians will we be? One more time, like the whole way through, don't you think? Think just once more? Okay. There's a new day, a new day is dawning. There's a new way, a new way to see. There's a new time for arriving, and it's born from our striving for this new way, a new way. For this new way, for this new way, new way to be. Okay, big gospel ending now. For this new way, let me hear it. New way to be. Take your energy, take your bodies, take the joy, take the pleasure, take God, take thank you, take dancing, take singing, and then go change the world. And then see the grace 